If you're anything like me, you're probably carrying more battery-based devices than you ever have before, whether that be smartphones, tablets, laptops, or even camera gear and drones like I do. I often find it challenging to be able to charge these devices whether I'm local or actually traveling, and a device like this, a portable power station, is almost a must-have today. This video is going to be taking a look at this specific device, which is the Bluetti EB55. It is a 500 plus watt hour portable power station that not only has DC outputs, it has wireless charging and a dual AC output as well. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at this device. I'm going to walk you through its features and capabilities. We're going to put it on an oscilloscope and check those outputs are doing exactly what they say they are. And then at the end, I'm going to share with you my thoughts. Now, just to be clear, Blue Etty did reach out to me and asked if I'd be interested in taking a look at this. So they have sent me this device for free. However, my thoughts are entirely my own as they always are. My opinion cannot be bought and my opinion is always entirely based on my own experiences. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's take a look at what this device is all about first of all. The EB55 from Bluetti is a fully featured 537 watt hour portable power station. It features four USB-A ports which support 5 volt 3 amps of output as well as a single USB-C port supporting power delivery up to 100 watts. It has a DC output supporting two 12 volt 10 amp DC jacks as well as a traditional 12 volt accessory socket. It has two AC outputs supporting 220 to 240 volts up to 700 watts and also has a built-in wireless charger up to 15 watts on the top. There is also an LCD display in the middle which not only shows you the current state of charge of the built-in battery but also the current power input and output. Charging the EB55 can be done in two ways. You have a DC input which supports both traditional battery charge input from your vehicle as well as solar panel input up to 28 volts 8 amp and there's also a dedicated AC adapter input supporting 25 to 28 volts 10 amp as well. Included with the EB55 is a 25.2 volt 8 amp power supply allowing you to charge it from the mains. The model I've got here is the EB55 with the 537 watt hour battery, but there is also an EB70 version with the larger 716 watt hour battery available too. Moving around the outside on the top, you'll find a built-in carry handle on each side. There's a fan for cooling the internal battery and circuitry. And then on the back, there's a built-in light, which not only gives you a standard fixed output, but also will flash SOS as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, included with the EB55 is a mains power supply, but there is also two DC cables as well. One allowing you to charge it from an accessory socket and a dedicated solar charge cable as well, allowing you to charge it from solar panels whilst out in the field. Now, as this is a portable power station, it obviously has a built-in battery. As I mentioned, it is rated at 537 watt hours, and that is a Life PO4 battery. That means you should get at least two and a half thousand cycles to 80% capacity, giving you plenty of use over the lifetime of this product. What's also nice as well about this is the multiple ways that you can charge this. In fact, there are six different ways. You can charge it via that AC input, that DC input, whether it be battery or solar, but you can even dual charge it up to 400 watts of input via the AC and DC, say on a solar panel, allowing you to get it up to maximum capacity as quickly as possible. Now, with regards to that built-in battery on the EB55, it is a 22.4 volt 24 amp hour pack which is based on 26700 cells with a capacity of 4 amp each. I believe they're in a 6 series 6 parallel configuration and that is what calculates up to that 537 watt hour rating. As for the amount of use time you're going to be able to get from this on the built-in inverter at 700 watts you're going to get roughly 40 minutes of runtime to absolute flat. On the 12 volt at 120 watt hour, you're going to be about four and a half hours. On the USB-C, it's a bit complicated to calculate because it will depend on the voltage, but you're going to be talking somewhere between five and 10 hours of usage, depending on what wattage device you have attached. And on the USB ports, if you were using one port at two amp, you're going to have over 50 
hours of charging capability. With regards to charging the EB55, as I've mentioned earlier, there are lots of options. With the provided mains adapter, it'll take somewhere between three and four hours from flat. However, if you need it quicker, you could use the dual charge option that allows you to put in up to 400 watts and you could charge it in as little as two hours. Since receiving the EB55, I've not only been using it out and about, I've also been testing it here in the workshop. I've done extensive testing on both the AC and the DC side of the unit. We We've checked on the AC side that it does provide the correct voltage, the correct frequency and that that output is a true sine wave and on the DC side we've load tested the outputs and made sure that they are providing the correct voltage within specification. This testing was done with a portable mixing oscilloscope as well as a differential probe. The idea was to check not only that the output on the AC was a sine wave but also check the frequency and voltage levels. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is the frequency as well as the actual output. So you can see it is running at 50 hertz. That's currently what I've got it set to. We'll check the 60 hertz mode in a minute. You can see RMS wise is coming up at 228 volts. On the measurements, it's coming up at 230. And we can see that everything looks good. It is a true sine wave. If we just jump in a little bit closer, the now we've got about 350 watts on it and nothing has changed. Overall, everything looks just as good as it did unloaded. We're now up to 663 watts and you can see everything still looks nice and stable. The overall waveform hasn't changed. We're still at the RMS value of 232 and the frequency remains at 50 and it's doing exactly what we would expect the power supply to do. I've just set it to 60 hertz on the device and as you can see, it's absolutely bang on, no issues at all. Next, we tested the DC output with a LiPo charger on the accessory output. This was set to draw the maximum available wattage and as you can see here, it was able to deliver it without any problems at all. As for the DC outputs on the front over here, the four USB ports are within voltage spec. On the USB-C, it is working as expected. It is a power delivery port and it is communicating with the device and delivering the power that your device requests. It will though just be dependent on how much current your device wants to draw. The only thing I haven't really been able to fully test is the wireless charging device on the top. It is working, it is charging my phone as expected, but what I haven't been able to do is verify that 15 watt specification because I don't have a device able to draw 15 watts of power. Noise wise in normal use the EB55 is silent however when you do start to draw the maximum output you will hear the fans kick in and whilst it isn't particularly loud it is audible and you do have a noise from the internal fans. Now, since receiving the EB55, it's been charged, put in the back of my car, and it's been extensively used both in the car and out in the field. And I have to say, it really has been invaluable. Whether it be to charge smart devices like my smartphone tablets, power my laptop, or even give me the ability to charge my quads out and about, even things like my Mavic. There are just so many use cases for a device like this, and I've even powered an 800 watt electric radiator off it, and it's worked absolutely fine. There really is no end to the amount of different use cases you can have for a device like this, whether it be camping, traveling or just everyday portable power, a battery bank such as the EB55 here is going to give you so many different options. It really will just make your life easier. Now, before I share with you my thoughts, I just want to talk about price. The EB55 is recommended to be £629 in the UK, but it is available for £499 right now on the Bluetti website. As for in the US, it is currently showing at $499 as well. Overall, I think you're getting a fully featured portable power station for that money. Yes, there is no question that you are paying for additional devices in this. However, what you do get is a nice all-in-one integrated unit. Okay, so to share with you my final thoughts. Now, just to be clear again, Bluetti did send me this power supply for free. However, they have not seen this video before it's been published. And as always, my thoughts are entirely my own. Now, 
I've used this a hell of a lot over the last three or four weeks, and I have to say, I think it is very, very good. It has been invaluable at times when making content, but also traveling as well. I think the EB55 straddles the right balance between size, weight, and the amount of capacity it has. I'll be honest, most of the time I have struggled to get this flat. I'll be using it a lot more over the summer as we head towards camping time, and I'm looking forward to bringing this and being able to to sort of stop bringing the car battery that I used to bring and all of the additional accessories that would come with it. What you really get in a device like this is an all-in-one solution. There is no question you can build a battery bank of this kind of size for cheaper, but what you won't get is the tight integration that you have here and all of the nice little extras like that wireless charging on the top too. It really has been perfect zero issues. I think it really is worth a look if you're someone who is out and about, you're someone who wants to go camping or you want portable power. It has all of the I.O. I would ever need. And really, if you're someone looking to get yourself a portable power station, the Bluettis are well worth a look. Now, there is a link to this power station in the description of the video if you're interested in getting one. I do want to say a massive thank you to Bluetti for sending this one over. Honestly, it is going to get so much use in the next few weeks and months, and I will do a follow-up video on this as time goes on to talk about my experiences too. So if you're interested in seeing that, please do let me know in the comment section. Finally, I just want to say, if you have found this video interesting, please do let me know what you think in the comment section. Please do make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to hit the bell next to it as well. Furthermore, if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to Patreon as well as Buy Me A Coffee. Whilst we do receive products for free like this, we would not be able to make content on this channel without your support. And I just want to say a massive thank you from me to all of my Patreons. And if you'd like to support us, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.